Hi, thanks for following the Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. Today's topic one, which is all about the unboxing. By the way, a big welcome to VR Essentials. We talk about VR educational entertainment and all the practical uses of virtual reality. Nice to meet you if it's your first time here to the platform and a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you among us. All right, so today we're talking about what are the contents inside of the actual HP Reverb G2 when you receive it for the very first time, just to make sure that the contents in the box that you have are the same as me. Just be mindful that we are living in very strange times at the moment. So whether you purchase your HP Reverb G2 at the store or whether you got it delivered, you know, maybe you may want to get some gloves, some hand sanitizer and a cloth, and then just apply the hand sanitizer on the box and just wipe around, you know, all the different edges. And if it's within a box, you know, that's wrapped inside another box, then make sure you do the same thing on that box as well, because we can't be too cautious during these times. All right, the first thing that you'll see when you open the box will be a set of instructions explaining to you which way around to put the cables inside of the VR headset. But just put that aside for now, don't worry so much. Just make sure that you're part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video, which I'll be posting very soon, which will be all about the setup of the VR headset and connecting it to your PC. Now inside the box, there's actually two compartments. The first compartment will actually house your VR headset, which is neatly wrapped up inside of a cloth bag. And the second compartment, which is underneath, houses basically the controllers, the cables, and a whole bunch of different things, which I'll take you through very shortly. All right, so first let's focus on the top compartment, which is the VR headset, which is inside the pouch. Now the pouch is just a very normal fabric cloth, but I do recommend that you keep it so that every time you don't use a VR headset, just put it in so that you safeguard it from any dust potentially going inside and damaging it over time. Of course, as you remove the cloth away, you're gonna get more and more excited because it's gonna be the first time that you're about to see your HP Reverb G2. And once it's out of the cloth, the first thing that you'll notice is basically the lenses should have a blue film on them. Of course, mine don't because I already removed them previously to this video. Your VR headset, of course, will have two cameras on the front and then two cameras on the back, which will be used to basically track not only the position of itself in relation to where it is in the room, but also to track the actual controllers, which I'll go through shortly as well. You'll notice at the back, there's like a little hook there. Now you can actually easily remove the hook and there's also a little annotation on the actual headset itself to let you know where to put the hook back after you've actually removed it so that it's easier to put it back. You'll also notice, of course, the headset speakers. Now there is no headphone jack on the actual headset itself. So if your play space, for example, is far away from your actual computer, you might also need to get some extension cords to extend your headphones from your computer if you wanted to play with, of course, some headphones. But I will reveal more tips and tricks in future videos. So do make sure you are part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe, as I will be uploading tons more videos about the bite-sized beginner's guide to the HP Reverb G2. Okay, so I know you're very excited and you died to remove the blue seals from your lenses, but I do suggest that you leave them on at this moment in time and just carry on following the video for now. So first, why don't we get a bit more used to our actual VR headset by removing the actual facial interface, just to get used as to what it's like to remove it and put it back on. The facial interface, which is designed and taken by the Valve Index, basically has a set of magnets where it's very easy removable. Normally what you do is you just pick up one end first and then take out the other end. So you could remove the top, then the bottom, or maybe the left side and then the right side. The facial interface, as you can tell, is very soft and very bouncy. It will be very comfortable when you put the VR headset on your face later on. And there'll be a couple ways that you can maintain your facial interface. The first way, of course, would be hand washing it. Don't put it in the washing machine. I don't advise that. And then the other way would be to buy some antibacterial spray, which normally you use on curtains and bed sheets and these kind of things. And then just spray the facial interface cushion, cotton area, and then leave it dry for maybe half a day. Now, the great thing about this facial interface is that it also comes with a special sunlight blocker at the nose area, which is made of rubber, and it really works very well. You can barely see any light coming out from the nose, which really provides optimum experience and immersion during your VR gameplay. Also, the nose blocker doesn't cause any issues of any kind. It doesn't get in the way. You can't feel it when you put the VR headset on, so Oh good, they really did a good job there. Now, by the way, just another quick tip that when you are going to put the facial interface back on the actual headset itself, to make sure that you grab the strap and that it's not in the way because it is very easy to try and put the facial interface back on and you're like, why isn't it going back on? What's going on? And then again, some people can lose patience. So just, you know, grab the, the strap, put it up and then put the VR headset 
facial interface back in place. And by the way, just another quick tip, if you're new to virtual reality, just take a little bit of tape and wrap it around itself and then place it on the sensor, which is located in between the two lenses. Now, this is really useful because basically this sensor will tell whether you have your VR headset on your face. So every time that you remove it, your VR headset, what will happen is go to sleep. This is very useful specifically if you need to go to the toilet or open the door or do whatever things you need to do because when it goes to sleep, you might actually lose all your gameplay. All right, so let's move on to the second compartment inside of the box. The first thing that you'll notice is you'll have two controllers, one for the left and then one for the right, which will each have a strap. And then you should also have three separate boxes, one which is medium size, one a very small one, and then another one which is more of a cardboard pouch. So inside of the pouch, you'll find your HP warranty or guarantee, depending on the country that you're in, and also perhaps some health and safety tips. You might have to register your product online as well, depending on the country that you're in. The small box contains two pairs of AA sealed batteries. Do make sure also another quick tip here that if you're going to use rechargeable batteries in the future, that they're at least 1.5 volts and not 1.2 volts. Otherwise, they're not going to last as long. I did put a link in the description below the like button as well, which will redirect you to our affiliate Amazon page where you can find them if you need to purchase some. The bigger box is going to have several different things. The first thing that you'll see is an adapter where you can plug in your HDMI inside of your laptop. A second adapter will also be provided, which converts your USB-C to USB-C. USB-A, so you can plug in your HP Reverb G2 at the back of your PC tower. This box will also have various different cables. The first cable will be the main cable that hooks up basically from your actual HP Reverb G2 all the way to connecting it to your computer. And as you can see, there's also some kind of little adapter box there, which serves as a T-junction where basically you can to put inside a plug so that you could actually power the VR headset itself. Now, I highly suggest that you just take a few minutes here just to study the cables a little bit, just so you make sure that you don't put the wrong end inside of your VR headset. Otherwise, you could damage it very easily. And just a reminder to join the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe, as I'll guide you through how to connect your VR headset to your PC and get you all up and running in the next video. All right, so we're almost done with the unboxing. This is getting more and more exciting, I can tell. Now let's move on swiftly to the actual controllers. Now, as you can tell, the controllers are made of a soft black plastic and feel extremely light. And again, at this moment in time, don't put the batteries in yet. We'll go through that in the next video. All the buttons are actually positioned where they're supposed to be and they're very intuitive. So it will make your gameplay very easy as you begin your VR experience later on. On the controllers, you'll see that there are several different little white points, those are actually going to be the LEDs, which the VR headset needs to be able to see when it's powered on. And when it's powered on, you'll notice also later on that the LEDs will start to flash. Now do take note that the rings on the controllers are pretty big. So this means that the controllers you will notice later on that are a little bit front heavy. And then also they might do get in the way from time to time. So it's a little bit of a compromise, but you will get used to it. So don't worry. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm extremely pumped because now it's time to connect everything to the PC and get everything up and running so we can actually start our VR experience. So why don't we both meet together in the next video where I'll show you how to do exactly just that. Let's go.